received my first um, AAMMDS award um, 10 years ago. Um, and the research involved was uh, the role of telomeres length in bone marrow failure and the frequency of mutations in the telomerase complex in patients with bone marrow failure. At that time, I was a junior investigator at the University, um, Washington University in St. Louis, and um, I had research ongoing in a different uh, bone marrow failure field, um, paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria, which I still cherish very much. Um, but at that time, I speared out into the, into the field of inherited bone marrow failure syndromes. And uh, the Aplastic Anemia MDS uh, Foundation grant really allowed me to um, acquire the initial results, which are important to um, uh, have when one acquires for governmental funding. And indeed, um, today, our group is one of the leading uh, investigators in that field, and this is thanks to uh, the Aplastic Anemia Foundation. The understanding of inherited bone marrow failures in pediatrics is important. The late complication in the adult world um, of bone marrow failure. But interestingly, it's also sometimes how adult bone marrow disease presents in childhood, and I wasn't really expecting to see that. And those uh, fields really bring a lot of new opportunities and insights uh, into the bone marrow failure field. I really find that one of the most gratifying um, experiences um, to interact directly uh, with the patients and to see um, their needs and to, to understand their fears um, in order to have a better approach um, on the medical side and also see the needs, uh, what needs to be explored um, on the scientific side. Um, I really enjoy uh, the interaction with them and the feedback um, I get during these um, lectures. I think one of the most important um, um, reasons or uh, advice I can give a junior investigator to interact with the foundation is to cross-connect um, with other uh, investigators to see what's ongoing in the field. What is important for their own research is probably to have the opportunity to emerge themselves in their question and have to the persistence um, to uh, follow the question they have put in the start um, in order to find the answer. I think any question one tries to answer usually feel, uh, leads to enormous enrichment uh, in um, um, answers and in opportunities. Um, and if one has the uh, ability to experience that, it's one of the most gratifying um, experience in research um, one can have. I particularly think that the poster sessions are very good opportunities for junior investigators to meet um, senior investigators and to engage into discussions. Um, even as a senior investigator, I do enjoy that um, because sometimes these sort of unbiased approach um, or questioning um, brings up new ideas and um, the enthusiasm of the junior investigator are very often um, inspiring um, for um, uh, senior investigators as well. So I think um, it's a 
a wonderful opportunity for uh, junior investigators and it's really also a privilege for um, senior investigators. So I, I like the, the poster session and uh, I think that's a very important part for these meetings. I think a plastic anemia, PNH, or bone failure in general is still an understudied area and the donations um, of patients and family to uh, support the research on a scientific but also on a clinical level is valuable, extremely valuable uh, for um, particularly junior investigators who um, dedicate their life um, in order to um, investigate the bone marrow failure syndromes, um, but also for senior investigators who mentor junior investigators um, to become uh, experts in the field. Um, Patients with bone marrow failure, they uh, contribute doubly and in the first place by participating in research studies. And I would like to encourage um, every family to, to do so, to if they uh, are able to participate in as many research uh, projects they can, of course, carefully consider whether they really want to do that. And um, of course, we are very grateful um, for donations that also financially support uh, research, as uh, particularly in these times where governmental funding is really hard to come by. And um, it would be such a pity if research would uh, suffer in, uh, if bone marrow failure.